Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I'd love to talk to you about a passion of mine, which is all things for men and women's hair care. I've got a particular interest around fine hair and keeping it as healthy as possible, particularly if you are going through a phase of losing hair or hair thinning and really trying to help you have the best hair possible. And I've been through these things uh, through uh, stress related hair loss and having these bothersome issues which can really affect our confidence and I'm just kind of on a bit of a journey you could say that if I come up against a product which is fantastic then I'll sing about it and if I come against a product which I think not so good then I will always uh, talk about that one as well. Um, so my channel as ever is all about integrity and today we are going to be doing a very honest review on a product which I feel is a really really great product however I'm not 100% won over by, uh, let's say, uh, the background of it. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a product by Tony and Guy. Uh, so the product which we're talking about today is Strengthplex Bond Replair uh, Shampoo and Conditioner uh, with Kakadu Plum, okay, which helps reinforce uh, restoring fiber bonds, visibly repairs, strengthens, and hydrates hair. So we're doing the shampoo and the conditioner, and we have got a strength plex uh, bond repair mask. Now, why would I need this? So I've got shoulder length, fine textured hair. And often I always find the problem with fine textured hair doesn't necessarily mean to say that it's a, a bad hair type to have, but it can be a little bit more fragile than what other types of hair can be. And I often find that it just requires a little bit more care and a little bit more tender loving care. Um, and sometimes it just needs a little bit more extra nourishment. Okay, so first things first, why would you need to use a system like this? So strength plex. So think overcoloured hair. Think if you've had highlights, if you've had bleaching, if you love using heat appliances on your hair, whether you're a guy watching this, whether you're a lady watching this. If you've got fine textured hair, for a guy you'll note that your your uh, style often falls quite flat. You have to use perhaps a little bit more heat with a blow dryer to really give it some volume at the roots. If you're a lady watching this, you have those real glamorous blow dry looks, but yet perhaps without the right root lifting products and uh, styling tricks and tips, it doesn't last as long or, or you have to sort of use other products to be able to support it as well. It doesn't mean to say you haven't got amazing hair because I'm sure you have and as with every hair type, whether it's super, super, super thin or whatever on the opposite end of the spectrum, for a guy it can look super, super cool and smart and for a lady it can look super, super glamorous. But of course with fine hair it does require a little bit more nourishment and often it can be a little bit more fragile. So that's why you may use a product like Strength Plex Bond Repair. So, shampoo. First impressions, a really luxurious, high-end smell, a really great, intense, rich uh, formulation. So you only need to use a little bit of it, and it just lavas into the most huge amount of uh, suds. And I always... Number one, I always get a little bit reserved on that because I do wonder how much of this is sort of added silicons and those artificial uh, ingredients in there. But keeping that all back for a moment, um, a really lovely shampoo to use, really nourishing. I've got fine textured hair. I wouldn't say my hair was particularly thin, but, but it is fine, thinner in places, um, but I've got quite a bit of it. I certainly wouldn't say it was thick. Um, and as I say, I've gone through stress-related hair loss as well, so I do need to know what products I can use when I go through those phases, which some parts of my hair get a little bit more thinner. Um, and overall, I do have fine textured hair, which sometimes sits very, very flat and sometimes struggles to hold a style. Um, but I have got a lot of it. But for me, I did find this shampoo straight away. Um, it, it almost seems to be, it's so rich, it's so nourishing that it's almost overly nourishing because straight away it makes me feel like that I've got a reduced amount of hair and um, the lengths and ends of my hair are quite fine. Um, this almost nourishes them even as the shampoo that much that it makes my hair feel quite finer almost to the point where it's very slick. Um, so then afterwards after using this it really does struggle to hold any texture or, or any fullness but yet it's kind of catch-22 because um, 
it's it's of course repairing and trying to replenish those sort of dry ends perhaps those overly styled ends perhaps if you've got colored hair it would really help to replenish that that dryness that damage um or if it's like an over processed hair or bleaching that perhaps you're starting to take on quite a um unfortunately like a straw like texture or an overly processed texture on the very ends of your hair this would be really great because it's super rich it's super nourishing and this is just the shampoo on the back here it says visibly renews hair quality by helping to repair damaged areas deep inside the hair and on its surface heat styling and coloring can break bonds within hair fibers causing weak and visibly damaged hair our strength plex technology helps restore and repair these broken bonds within the hair fiber and provides long-lasting protection against future damage this innovative exclusive formula is infused with kakadu plum which is harvested in northern australia so inside here we've got strength plex technology and kakadu plum so just very quickly i wanted to find out what on earth was kakadu plum i've heard of so many products having fruit extracts in one thing or another um boosting the vitality of hair the nourishment of hair kakadu plum apparently has the highest in nature uh percentage of vitamin c which of course is great for that restorative effect that um that revitalization for the vitality the shine the health um all of those great things which we want in our hair but we want to be able to keep styling our hair perhaps coloring our hair um and you want something that's going to be able to deliver nourishment so this does that but for me I'm going to stay a bit reserved for people who have got fine hair, particularly who have got maybe thinner hair, and I would say people with hair loss. Because, of course, even if you've got thinning hair, bearing in mind, remember, you can still look absolutely stunningly beautiful on a lady and really, really cool and sharp on a guy, but you want products that's going to boost volume, fullness, and thickness. And this, for me, made my hair almost fall very quickly length to my scalp rather than away from my scalp. So for someone who has fine hair, not particularly tons and tons of it but i've got quite a bit of it um and thinner in places uh it really did make my hair feel to be honest with you really quite sort of reduced density so not not a great one for me but for someone with super thick maybe frizzy hair really quite overly processed hair then a really good a really good shout on this shampoo um okay so for me to be honest i would be quite finished with just the shampoo because there is enough nourishment in there for me for that but to be able to review this i've used it a handful of times um conditioner really great conditioner again it adds so much nourishment into the hair it's almost too much for me because it makes my hair almost feel like glass like that there's there's very little of it um when my hair as i say isn't super super superly thin but fine hair but rather a lot of it but with this it just makes it so sleek so soft it does dry when i i've only blow dried my hair once with this and i really didn't like it because it just sat very very to my head um and even though sort of i do my tricks like blow drying my hair off to the side the opposite side from where i wear it um and then sort of flipping my head forward it didn't last the reviews online say that this was fine for people with fine hair for me it was so counterintuitive it made my hair very very flat i find it very nourishing almost like there is an oil product in here even after having a real thorough rinse and then always using like a cold water rinse afterwards um, which often i've tried just because apparently of cold water it can swell fine hair up just to make it appear a little bit more thicker and it can calm the cuticle of the hair down this for me really didn't work with this and it just made my hair very kind of lank unfortunately um but I can appreciate it's really great for damaged hair and processed hair. I had a few sort of dry areas, um, not damaged, but dry areas, just from being up in sort of top knot style here. And it really did kind of transform that. So from that aspect, it does work. It does deliver. The conditioner on the back here, um, exactly the same uh, sort of um, what tells us on the back here. Um, so heat styling. So we've got here straight away visibly renews hair quality by helping to repair damaged areas deep inside the hair and on its surface. And then it just tells us about which um, what does damage our hair, of course. So heat styling and colouring can weaken bonds within the hair fibres, causing weak and visibly damaged hair. Our strength flex technology helps restore and repair these broken bonds within the fibre and provides long lasting protection against future damage. Um, it says just a different on here that just to use the one to two, or leave it on for one to two minutes after the shampoo. For me, as I say, shampoo, I just rinsed straight off and I still had that ultra nourishment. The conditioner, I literally left it on for 60 seconds and it made my hair feel like glass, like I didn't have any hair. It was that soft and sleek. So for me, I left it there. Really luxurious smell, really high end product. It really smells like something. And I mean, I've been to top hairdressers and things and it really does mirror that quality.
there was just a little bit of a negative, I would say. It did seem to agitate the nape of my neck, and after I rinsed it off, it did make me the several times I have used it, and I've only used this a bunch of times, and each time it's made my scalp a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit itchy. Um, so with that aside, I've only actually used this about three times, I want to say. Three times, I want to say, on this one here. And this is the Strength Bond Repair Mask. And I wouldn't, I've only used it three times because I wanted to give a fair representation of me reviewing it. And some people may not even say that is a fair representation. Um, but for me, this is the Strength Plex uh, Technology Kakadu Plum. Reduces frizz, delivers smoothness, softness, and sheen. So for my hair type, which, as I said, and I've said many times, isn't particularly thin, thin. It's not thick. I've got fine hair, but quite a bit of it thinner in places, there was no opportunity of any frizz, no opportunity of anything else, even volume, because I found this very, very heavy. The other shampoo and the conditioner had a really amazing smell. I found the mask just, and to be quite honest with you, I know a lot of people aren't going to like this, um, but I found it the smell of a cleaning product. I'm very OCD on cleaning. Very, very, uh, my family very, very house proud. I actually quite enjoy cleaning. absolutely love it. <laughs> um, and this reminds me of a bathroom cleaning product. And uh, yes, it really does deliver. And yes, it calms frizz. But to be quite honest with you, if you've got fine or thin hair, there is going to be no aspect of any volume at all in this because I found this extremely heavy. If you have really dry, really overly processed hair, really damaged hair, brittle hair, this will be great for you. Um, I only actually put it on my roots once. The other two times I used it just on the lengths and ends. And to be honest, that was too much for me as well because it really did make my hair feel like I didn't have barely any hair at all. Um, I found the nourishment very, very heavy. I do not understand. I've used so many different hair care products. I do not understand the reviews online who have said, uh, that it was fine for fine hair. And I even seen somebody uh, regarded it as weightless. Um, I'd really like to know how they used it and how they would regard it as weightless because I found it a, quite a heavy system across all three products. Um, the shampoo, as I mentioned, this would have been just enough for me. Um, and that's only just using a small amount as well. The conditioner, again, lengths and ends, fantastic restorative effect, really, really great. If I had dry hair, if I went back to highlighted hair, I would probably purchase this again. However, I'm going to come to the however at the end, but the Bond Repair Mask, no, really didn't like this. I'm sorry to say I wanted to love this one because I love Tony and Guy, uh, I think it's, is it Injection Volume Shampoo Conditioner? Didn't like the root treatment of that system, but love the shampoo conditioner. It was an amazing effect. Tons of volume and really looked after my hair. Um, Shampoo condition I really, really loved. The only thing I would say about this system is it makes your hair that sleek, that sort of, I'm going to say nourished, um, to the effect where volume is a bit of a struggle. Okay. Um, I would love to turn around and say that there is no silicones or anything in here at all, no artificial elements in here at all. But when you use this system, you can really tell that there is something in here, which if you was to use it every day, probably would start to upset your scalp environment balance. Um, for me, it made my scalp a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and the lengths and ends of my hair, I just really found that there was something a little bit more going on. And when you look at the ingredients on the back, there is, there's no getting away from it. There is silicones in here. So for example, well-known silicones in here, um, the one which really screams out to me straight away is dimethylacon. Oh, forgive me if that's not pronounced right. Um, and then there's dimethylamine. Um, two very well-known ones, which unfortunately have had some negative hype um, in uh, the sort of a hair industry, I would say, across men and women's hair care products. So that's in the conditioner and in the shampoo. And bear in mind, I know this is in a lot of other shampoos and conditioners, but those I've never had a problem where they've agitated my scalp, whereas these seem to have. Um, and then I look on the shampoo and I can see that there are similar ingredients in here as well. Again, the menthol recall in here. That's not usually in shampoos, I don't believe. I think that's usually in conditioners. Um, but don't get me wrong. There are some great restorative ingredients in here which look after the lengths and ends of your hair. I mean, the kakadu plum, absolutely love the idea of that. I love the nourishment, but perhaps if I had a bit thicker hair or perhaps if I had highlighted hair or coloured hair or perhaps if I used heat throughout my hair regularly, um, then this would be amazing for me. But I like my hair to be away from my scalp and have a bit more volume and give the illusion that it's a little bit more fuller and thicker in places, um, especially when I'm wearing my hair down. Like this, not a problem at all. Really nice. Unfortunately, this scalp irritation slightly. Um, 
for me, when my hair is down, being it's on the finer side, um, and in the bottom it's cut into a little bit, just so there's some movement, this just made it cling, and almost looked like there was a product, like an oily product, and it started to look a little bit like tails, um, and I really didn't like that. So forgive me for the slightly negative review, but my channel is all about integrity, and as I say, I love to review products, particularly of a fine interest in, pardon the pun, fine hair, and people with thinning hair, and really trying to help uh, raise a go-to armor of products which people can use with thinning hair, which people can use with thin hair, and still achieve great amazing styles, both man and woman, which it can be done. Um, so yeah, whereas this, I, I was often thinking to myself about um, when I bought this product, that because of course with fine hair, you may naturally use a blow dryer a bit more to create that illusion a bit more fullness or if you've got thinning hair to create the fullness on top or or perhaps if you've got one side maybe a little bit thinner than the other or do you know all our hair is completely different no person's experience with hair or maybe thinning hair or fine hair will be the same and of course because fine hair may be a little bit more fragile um and if you're using a little bit more heat then you're going to need that nourishment that repair so that's why very often i will explore and i will uh try repairing products like these nine times out of ten i do get quite a good experience with them and i wouldn't say this was a poor experience um but for and to be fair it doesn't say on here for fine hair so this could actually be aimed at uh thicker hair frizzier hair or uh sort of overly processed hair but for me love the look of the product Really love the packaging uh, price, three for two here on Boots in the UK, between around seven to eight pounds a product. Um, so when on offer, really fair price to be quite honest with you. And in terms of uh, nourishment and restorative effects, to be honest, 10 out of 10. The only thing what gives it a little bit more dampener for me is not many products have agitated my scalp like this has. Um, and just because I can see those well-known products in there, I do just wonder the levels of what's in there. Is it agitating my scalp? Is it agitating my roots? And if I used it for a long time, would it turn into a bit more of an issue? Who knows? But as a all-rounded review, a really great restorative product for particularly damaged hair, if you've got overly processed hair or colour or overly heat, one thing or another. Um, if you've got fine hair, just be careful with this. If you've got thinning hair or thin hair, I would stay away from this completely. Um, and on that note, I thank you very much for being here. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I really hope that I've helped you. If you have any queries or questions, please leave them down below for me. It really does mean the world. And I will get back to you as quick as I can. And on that note, God bless, take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.